Oxytocin, known by its trade name Pitocin, is a hormone administered during pregnancy, and you can remember it by the image of the octopus toe. This medication both begins and increases the strength of uterine contractions by stimulating receptors on the uterine muscle wall, shown by the up arrow uterus flexing. This medication is given in conjunction with cervical ripening medications or after the cervix is ripened to increase and strengthen contractions for labor induction, shown by the labor induction duck. After separation of the placenta, this medication may be indicated to control postpartum hemorrhage, shown by the post-baby with hemorrhage hammer, as it causes contraction of the uterine wall, thus decreasing blood flow to tissues. Risk of uterine rupture, shown by the uterus rupturing, is a possible side effect due to the strength of the muscle contractions this medication causes. Women with multiparity greater than 5 or any previous uterine scarring are at higher risk due to weakened uterine walls. Another possible side effect is water intoxication, depicted as the water with toxic barrels pouring in. This occurs due to the antidiuretic effects this medication has on the body, which prevents the formation of urine. It is important to continuously monitor urine output while administering this medication. Fetal lung immaturity, shown by the fetus missing lungs, is one contraindication for giving oxytocin, as is pregnant women who have a cervix that is not ripened, shown by the unripened cervix fruit. Giving this medication and inducing contractions before cervical ripening may cause fetal or maternal injuries. Patients with an active genital herpes infection, the herpes harp with active genital infection, should also never be administered this medication. It is important to note that the lowest dose of this med should be given to minimize side effects, shown by using the smallest needle available with the lowest dose. And because this medication is destroyed by the GI system, it must be given IV or IM route. It has a relatively short half-life that, when coupled with the potency, requires the use of an IV pump, shown by the IV pump. So to review, oxytocin or pitocin is a medication given that works to increase uterine contractions. Indications include labor induction and to control postpartum hemorrhage. Side effects include uterine rupture and water intoxication. Contraindications include fetal lung immaturity, cervix not ripened, and active genital herpes. This medication should be given in the lowest possible dose due to increased risk of side effects and via IV pump. The octopus toe is a giant monster from the sea, and it terrorizes the inhabitants of nearby islands. Whenever it attacks, the uterus flexes to fight it off, and the induction duck launches newborns like missiles from a woman in labor. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using space repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with. To make sure you study what you need, when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our reproductive pharmacology pathway. We've got a huge amount of the content you need to remember. We've got everything from Rogam, to magnesium sulfate, to luprolide, and so much more. So see how hundreds of thousands of students like yourself have figured out how to save time and have fun doing it so you can lock in everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.